Hey YouTube, this is Jacob L. Taylor here, back with another video, and this is like a pickups video for the Nintendo DS Lite system I got the other day. I got it last week, last Saturday I believe. And I did some trade-ins for it, I traded in a few games and, you know, and stuff like that, and then I didn't even have to pay any money for it, so, you know, I just paid for it with trade-ins. So this is the box, it's in pretty much mint condition. Here's the system, it's in light mint condition. Here's all the manuals, advertising stuff. Uh, here's inside the box. Let's put that down there. And obviously it came with this, which is the power supply for it. I also bought this case in GameStation. It's quite a nice case. It's for the DSi and the DS Lite. It's got a little hole for the power switch and DSi. But yeah, it's a, pre it's a pretty good case. It's got space in the back for your games. So here's the games I've got for it so far. First of all, I'll show you my sister's games that I'm borrowing for the system. Mario Party DS. These have got the boxes, but they're in a room, so, you know. Mario Kart DS. Basically, the Mario games. Super Mario 64 DS. And Yoshi's Island DS. I've noticed the Mario Party DS game. Don't know if you focus. Maybe under the light. Yeah, as you can see, it's a USA game by the serial number at the bottom. It's just strange, but you know. I've also got stuff from Poundland, which you know. It's like game cases, screen protector. None of that I've used, but you know. <laughs> so here's the games New Super Mario Bros. And that's with the manual and the cartridge. Pokemon Soul Silver has a box inside, the manual and all the paperwork and stuff, the cartridge, and as well as that, I've got a new uh, out. the Pokey Walker. Haven't used it, but you know, it's there if I need it. And it comes with a spec manual for how to use the Pokewalker Walker in like 12 languages. It's kind of ridiculous. So you can see that's thick. Pretty much what fills up most of the box. But yeah, it's quite nice in a shiny case. That's a good game. Next, a loose cart from Game Station. I think it's kind of like GameStop. In America, see the English equivalent. This is just the cartridge, no manual. Parts of Caribbean at World's End. It's alright. Next, the first person shooter Metroid Prime Hunters. It's got Wi Fi capability as well, but I can't play online because I've got WPA, PSK. Can't be asked to change it to WEP. There's the cartridge, it's got all the manuals. It's even got the Club Nintendo thing. I don't know if it's been used. It probably has. Nope, it's never been used. 250 stars. I have to register that. And finally, this game I've been playing quite a lot recently Professor Layton and the Curious Village. It's got the Paperwork, unused Club Nintendo card, I think it's unused again. Yep, and the cartridge. I'll just take this out and show you the DS working. Also got two other spare sliders in there, but they're not really very interesting, you know. Just put the 
cartridge in, as you can see. There you go. Slide the power switch. Take out the stylus. Just use my fingers, but you know. It's quite a good game, but yeah, it works. Yeah. yeah, it's a good game. Quite pleased with my DS. I haven't got a DSi. The main reason why I didn't get a DSi is obviously I didn't have enough from the trading. But really, I didn't want a DSi because. I'm not really a big fan of the camera idea, and you know I've got loads and loads of Game Boy Advance games, and you know DSi doesn't have the slot, so that seems pointless for me getting it. But you know, this is Jacob Taylor. Thanks for watching.